again and welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is for a left-handed uh, granny square. <clears throat> it's just the straightforward granny that, um, that we've got already for right-handed uh, crochet. So we're going to start with a double knit yarn but you can do this in any weight of yarn as long as you use the right hook for the yarn that you're using. So we start <clears throat> Excuse me, as always with a slip knot onto the hook and we're going to chain four. So one, two, three and four. I'm going to join the yarn through the first chain. So we put the yarn over, pick up a loop and pull through both of the loops and we've now got this center ring. The first stitch is going to be three chain that's going to count as a double and we're using US terms for this tutorial. We're now going to work two doubles into this center ring. So a double is yarn over and you can do that however you feel comfortable into the circle the ring that we made, pick up a loop and pull it back through. We're going to yarn over and pull through two once, <coughs> yarn over and pull through two twice and this is why it's called a double crochet. So we've got the, th the three chain which counted as the first stitch, we've now done a second, we're going to do a third exactly the same, so yarn over into the ring, pick up a loop, pull it through, yarn over, through two, yarn over, through two. So there we've got our first block of stitches. We're going to chain one, which is just yarn over and through, then we're going to do another three doubles into this same ring. One. two and three. We're going to chain one and the chain ones are going to form the corners and we're going to do another three doubles into this same ring. So we've got one and two and three. We're going to chain one and we're going to work the final three stitches into the ring. You might need to just push the stitches round a little bit so that you've got um, a space. So we've got one and two and three. <clears throat> we're going to finish off with a chain. So one chain and then we're going to join into the third chain of that starting stitch. So we just pick up the loop and pull it through. We're now going to slip into that one chain space and turn your work around. It's a good idea at this point, if you're just starting, to um, put a stitch marker into each of the four corners. So I'll just get four stitch markers and do that so that you can see what I mean. <coughs> The stitch markers that I use are from um, eBay, they're quite cheap to buy. Just zoom in slightly. <clears throat> so into each of the corner stitches, which is the, the one chain space, and you'll be able to see where you've got a one chain space, we're going to just pop a stitch marker into each one. So there'll be three stitches in between and then you've got the one chain space. We've got three stitches in between, so we've got the one chain space here. And then three stitches. <coughs> Oops. I've gone the wrong way there with the, with the slip stitch. 
the slip stitch into that first space. So into this first corner space here we're going to work three double crochets and then one chain which is going to be the corner and another three double crochets. So the first stitch as always is three chain and that's going to count as the first stitch. So we'll do another double and a third stitch. We're now going to chain one and because of this is the new corner I'm going to just pop a stitch marker over the chain one stitch that we've done and we're going to do another three doubles into this same corner stitch. So we've got one, <coughs> two and three. We're going to skip the next three stitches and go straight over to this next marked stitch and we're going to do the same again. So we've got three doubles, one, two and three. Chain one. So we're going to move this stitch marker that we've got here into that chain space. And then work another three doubles all into this same space here. So we've got one. Just bear with me a second, I've got a knot in the yarn. There we go. <clears throat> There's the second and the third. Again we're going to skip the three doubles and go into this next marked corner. We're going to do three doubles, one chain and three doubles. So there we've got one and two and three. Chain one and again we're going to move the stitch marker, take it out of the corner, pop it over the chain that we've just worked and three more stitches into that same one chain space. We're going to skip three stitches and that will take us over to the next corner where we do exactly the same again. Three doubles chain one, <clears throat> move the stitch marker over the chain that we've just worked and work another three doubles into that same chain space. One, two and three. So we've now completed the second round. We're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the three chain start stitch so it's the very top one and a slip stitch is just pick up the yarn and pull it through the loop. We're now going to flip over again. The reason for the turning the work over is that you'll get a much much neater square and it won't go out of shape. So we just slip stitch into this space here and we now oh, I've got another knot in the yarn I do apologize so, <clears throat> so we're now going to again work three chain and that's the start stitch followed by two double crochets one and two. 
so we are again back to the corner where we're going to skip the three stitches and work three doubles one chain and three doubles in this corner so I'll skip the three stitches work one oops and two and three chain one and again we're going to move the stitch marker into that chain space that we've just made hold it to one side and do three more doubles into that same corner each row that we do we'll have an extra block of three doubles at either side of this one and then into the corner so we're going to skip three stitches work three doubles into this middle space skip three stitches and that brings us across again to the next corner we're going to work the same as the previous corners each corner will be three chain uh, sorry three doubles and then a chain one move the marker from the corner and just pop around the chain that we've just done and work three more doubles into that same space So we're going to carry on all the way around the square in blocks of three and we've just got the three doubles in each of the spaces but when we come to a corner we're going to do three doubles, chain one and three doubles. If you need to slow the video down, if it's going a little too fast, if you click on the little cog at the bottom and then click on speed, you can then reduce the speed of the video to either 0 0.5, 0 0.75 or 0.25, whichever speed works best for you. So we're going to skip the next three and work three doubles that brings us to the next corner which is the last corner we're going to work again three doubles a chain one move the marker if you've got the markers on each corner stitch, you're never going to go out of shape. So there we've got one, and two, and three. And we've come to the beginning stitch, which was the three chain. We're going to count one, two, three chains, and slip stitch together. So for the next row, you would flip over slip stitch into the space and again we will start with the three chain followed by two doubles and that's going to be the first block of three stitches that you will do you'll skip these three stitches and work a corner which is three doubles one chain three doubles then we'll do three doubles into this space skip these three stitches work three doubles into this space and we're again back to the next corner and you'll just carry on working in exactly the same way until the squares the desired size if you want to change color you can change color at any of these spaces just slip stitch into the space work three chain that's going to be your first stitch and then the two doubles on each um, space and the 
three doubles, one chain and three doubles into the corners. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.